Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. And in Shiksha Mantra, today we are going to discuss a trick. A trick regarding learning of language. Obviously, it's a part of our discussion of the different tricks that we may apply in our learning the skill in language. And this is the second trick that we'll use here. So first tell me one thing, how many of you know how to read? How many of you read a book or something by putting your finger on each and every word? Do you really move your head from one side to another when you are reading? Do you follow each and every word one after another? by following each and every line if you do this this video is going to be very much helpful for you because before we start learning a language we must learn how to read because reading is also a skill and it's very essential not for the learning of language but learning in general so let's discuss our next trick regarding reading properly. So dear friends, here I will discuss only three points and by following these three points, actually by making some corrections regarding these three habits, you may change your reading habits a lot. So the first point, when you are reading something, what you do, you follow each and every line. You follow each and every word and you move your head from one side to another following the lines. But this is a very, very bad thing to do. Don't do this. Try to look at the sentence at once. Look at the sentence and try to get it at once. Don't follow the line. Rather, keep the line within your views. So this is a practice that you have to make and don't move your head around. Following the lines, you can't concentrate on the sentence completely. You have to concentrate on the complete sentence. If a parent uh, is also uh, observing, uh, watching this video, it would be my request. Please don't let your word read while moving its head from one side to another, following each and every word. That's a very bad habit. You don't let him focus into the matter. So the first and most important thing is to get the sentence, the whole sentence in focus in a single view. So this is the first point. The second point is don't put your finger on the words you are reading or the line you are reading. So when you follow the line with your finger, what happens? Actually, your eyes work here and not your brain. So when reading, when you are learning something, you have to keep your brain focused, not your eyes only. So you are looking on each and every word. And there's another thing. When your finger is on a spot, on a particular word, on a particular line, what you'll do? You may look from uh, to the left, to the right, to something else, you may talk to someone and you know you have put your finger there on the word and you will return to it when you will forget everything about what you have read before this word. So you are reading but this reading is of no help for you. It's not useful. You are only reading it and as you know we read to learn. Now, if you don't learn anything from this reading, is this reading helpful? Tell me, do you think it's a helpful habit? It's not. It's not a healthy habit as well. 
So to make your habit healthy, what you'll have to do? Don't put your finger in the line. And the same thing happens for the children. Dear parents, please don't ask them to put their finger on the line. It won't let them focus properly. If you want your word to read with ultimate concentration, with the focus, don't let them put their finger on the lines or the words and also don't let them move their head. So these are the first two things that you must follow for proper reading. Then comes the third one. This is the way you read. What happens? At a time, you utter a single word or you utter an entire sentence. But this is not the proper way to read. For the proper way of reading, you must follow the sense in the sentence and break the sentence. Breaking is very, very essential. So when you break the sentence, what you get? You actually get a very good point from it. You understand the meaning. You don't have to think about the meaning used here. Rather, you get the meaning very easily. So let me read out a sentence from uh, our very great APJ Abdul Kalam sir. So it's from Wings of Fire. There I am reading uh, some lines. I was born into a middle class Tamil family in the island town of Rameswaram in the erstwhile Madras state. My father, Jainul Abedin, had neither much formal education nor much wealth. Despite these disadvantages, he processed great innate wisdom and a true generosity of spirit. He had an ideal helpmate in my mother, Asiyamma. I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day, but I'm quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our own family put together. So to read properly, you have to break the sentences as per the phrases the clauses following the phrases and clauses actually you can't do this it's not possible to follow the grammar while you are reading rather if you read properly the grammar will come out you won't have to try to get the grammar of the sentence rather the grammar of the sentence will come out automatically so how will you do this this is the most important factor this is the key factor here remember dear friends it's your breath that will tell you how far you will read. You'll get out of breath. If you don't put much force on your lung, you uh, actually uh, won't uh, get properly what I'm saying. If you keep everything simple, as simple as it is, if you don't strain your body, you'll find that the breath that continues with your reading is actually the point of breaks. So read properly till your breath remains with you. So when you feel I'm getting out of breath, don't continue your reading. There it demands a pause. And you may you may follow some storytellers. The storytellers actually read properly. And when you read, you must read like a storyteller. It appears as if you are observing everything and narrating them. And also, you have to put proper intonation, pronunciation, and obviously your emotion must be added with this so tell your words dear parents tell your words to read like this and by following these three points they could obviously flourish 
in their learning not language only but each and every subject so follow these points and then tell me in the comment section how it works if it really works please put a thumbs up for the rules it's not created by myself rather it's a rules that is the universal and it's followed by the great people so let me conclude here this presentation and very soon we are returning with another trick so just wait for the trick i'm returning very soon thank you happy learning